Yeah, it was kind of funny. I was talking about the one game better. I didn't. I was talking to my dad about it yesterday, and, and he said, hey, that's what you said in uh, the first team meeting was one game better. And I, I was laughing because uh, – he was right. You know, you, you kind of you look at the um, the end of the regular season. You know, losing to Gonzaga um, that first game, they won the the regular season title. But then getting to match up with them again, um, you know, our guys couldn't be more ready uh, in that conference tournament to to be able to play Gonzaga again and beat them twice um, in the tournament. Our guys are so fired up, and I think it's just a testament to our players and their belief, uh, their confidence, and their resilience. Uh, the toughness, um, the discipline that they've they've shown all year long, and it started in September. It's not a thing that just you know kind of happens out of thin air, you know. And it's not something you talk about. It's something that you actually put into action. And um, I couldn't just be so much more proud of my guys, and just to see them embrace the moment, take the moment in today, um, and and to see them, you know, it's not about you know it's it's about making it right. It's, it hasn't happened in, in nine years, and. Um, it's about making it, but it, but to see them like fired up to play, that's the cool thing. Like to to, to get ready to, to get on the road and, and get back after it is, is special. How much more enjoyable was it to watch the uh, the selection show, knowing that you already had a spot, you're just waiting to see where you're going to play? Yeah, I mean that's gratifying. That doesn't happen all the time, right? You know, it's my first first time in my career as a college coach that's happened. You know, when I was at Stanford, we we played in three regionals and super regionals, and they were at large, you know, bids, if you will. And and this was a, a first time AQ uh, making it, and uh, something you'll never forget, you know. And um, uh, such a such a memory that uh, for all these guys, these guys, some of these guys have been here four years in the program, and guys like you know Luvano, Lopez, Kunst, McGuire last year that. Um, d didn't get that opportunity. Those guys, you think about them all the time, and we know that they they laid the foundation, you know, for us to get there this year. Let's talk about uh, you know, obviously rumors potentially going to Stanford, maybe going to Austin, going to Corvallis, Oregon State traditional program, Vanderbilt traditional program, you know, New Mexico State, going to Black, uh, pretty tough region. But you know, how excited are you for the challenge to take on two traditional college baseball programs? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, I think it's awesome. A uh, ton of respect for those programs. And it, it goes back to our foundation, again, our belief of uh, we're playing the game and we, we stick with us and stick with our process and um, play Torero baseball, you know. And I think that was uh, something that was really shown last week at the conference tournament with the way our guys believe. And it's about believing and believing in each other and believing in the next guy, um, you know, that's coming up next. Yeah, I think that the experience prepares you, no question about it. And I think that goes back into the scheduling part of it and looking at, you know, um, hey, you want to play the best. If you want to be the best, you got to uh, play the best and beat the best, right? So I think that really helped. Um, it helped, uh, you know, give our guys confidence, you know, going into a regional here where it's like, hey, we, we did that um, that first weekend, you know, and we did it with Dallas Baptist. We did it on the road at Grand Canyon. And, um, you know, facing that type, uh, type of uh, pitching, that uh, weekend rotation and, um, again, our guys aren't worried about the opponent, which is great, and just trying to stick with one another. Obviously, in the first meeting, you talk about getting to a spot like this, but was it even sweeter when it's realized? Yeah, hundred percent, Kurt. I mean, when um, you you really try to be, there's the magnitude of a minute, right? Coach Lopez used to say that all the time, and I I love that quote because uh, social media, everything, we're always thinking down the road, we're always thinking next, and thinking outside of the box, if you will. Um, but to really soak up um, the moment um, on uh, Saturday was something special to be like, wow, we, we really achieved what we were set out to do. And the process, you know, I mean, it's, it was the work in the weight room. It was the work, the team building, the, the culture, the attitudes, um, you know, and then, and then getting over the hurdles uh, through the season too, right? And, and being able to stay positive and stay with one another and believe, I think it was number one. Uh, it's just staying consistent, staying with what we do on a daily basis, you know, not forgetting where, uh, who we are, right, uh, individually and as a group and as a family um, and staying with us, you know, and, and, and it's, it's keeping that consistent message and not changing uh, because, you know, something else is different now, right? From your experience with Stanford and some other places in postseason baseball, how do you kind of impart some of that? Yeah, great question, Kirk. We we talked about it last week. Uh, it, it was pretty neat going into the conference tournament, you know. And I, I just I, I I came up with something to the team. I'm like, hey, this is like a regional, 
uh, tournament type atmosphere. Um, I've never been to a conference tournament before, but that was kind of my, my guess. And, um, and I told him, I said, anything happens in the, re anything can happen in a regional, anything can happen in a tournament. So, um, believe that, know that. And, and it goes back to our other saying of no clock, right? There's no clock in this game. So, um, that mentality, they took it and ran with it. And as you guys could tell watching us play, um, so I couldn't be more proud of them for that and, and believing in that process. Thanks, guys. It feels great. We were just need to be one game better last year, and it feels good to go in, sweep a tournament, and really solidify ourselves this year. Leave no doubt. It's really fun. It's awesome to hear, and I'm glad I get to do it on a bigger stage with this team that definitely deserves it. Yeah, uh, it really starts with the offense getting us going. I mean, they were unbelievable this weekend, and it's great to see, and I hope it keeps rolling in this weekend. Um, we had some great rallies there. We were down a couple times, and I think just all the chemistry we built over the last couple of years has really come together right now, and we're, we're able to get ourselves going and build a rally when we need to and put ourselves back in the game. How was your limited bullpen experience? Yeah, it was, it was kind of fun being back in the bullpen. I missed that little rush of running in a game late in the game and just having it in my hands, but it's, it's good, good for one time. Uh, we just kind of want to get out of California, and we, we got our wish there. But, um, yeah, it was really cool to see everything play out. All There's so many different projections, so it's hard to nail one thing down. So we we're kind of keeping track of where things played out, where they didn't. And it's kind of tough waiting to the end, especially with last year when we were waiting to hear our names called and we never got it. But waiting to the end, definitely worth it this time. It's just an incredible feeling being able to know that we're going to move on and not have that worry and doubt in the back of our heads that we could be done today. Not too much. I actually have a kid I played with, Spencer Jones, in Little League. He's the only, used to match up against him in Little League and get to do it on a bigger stage. Yeah, I think we're just knowing that one game is all it took for us last year to get us out and knowing that if we didn't have our stuff, we could be in the same situation. So keeping keeping that same energy and being able to push through and make sure we were that one game better. Yeah, it was an incredible feeling uh, being the first team in, I think, nine or ten years to win the tournament and finally lock down that spot that had been so elusive to us for a while. Yeah, it was a very cool experience. Uh, definitely last year, we kind of watched the selection show uh, individually um, and we're kind of obviously bummed out when we didn't get in. We thought we deserved it. So it's very cool this year to uh, you know get the automatic bid from the conference, winning that tournament, which was huge. And it's just very exciting to kind of like um, realize all the hard work over last year that's paid off. So it's really cool for this group of guys. I'm really excited. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way we uh, the way we prefer it. Honestly, I think it'll be a really fun experience, and um, you know we've accomplished our first goal, which is the conference championship, uh, and so we're going to be able to enjoy going to a regional for the first time in almost a decade for the program, and it's a really cool feeling. Oh yeah, I'm I'm super excited. I think the you know the environment at Oregon State's obviously going to be very cool. Um, you know they represent well up there, so it'll be a, it'll be a really fun regional environment. Totally. Yeah, I think it was just, uh, you know, it was hard to kind of process your thoughts right away. I was just, you know, tried to, 
you know, hug as many of my teammates as I could when we were all celebrating on the field uh, and just kind of enjoying it in that moment together. Um, and then we got to enjoy, you know, getting selected to the tournament today. So. Uh, I don't. I don't know anybody over there. Um, obviously, they have a great reputation around college baseball, and uh, it should be a really fun matchup. Yeah, they've had a they've had a really good season. You know, they're historically really good. Um, I think we were all a little bit surprised. Obviously, just um, we didn't really know who was, who else was going to be in the regional, but I think we're all really excited to play them. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, knowing you're in uh, with the automatic bid is definitely, you know, comforting uh, watching it at the beginning. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely a different feeling than last year. Yeah, I think I think as we kind of saw some of the teams get out large bids from the West Coast going to different places, I think we could kind of gather that where we were going to end up. But, uh, yeah, it was still really, uh, really fun.